Grand Uprising World! How are you all doing? I'm doing so great, exactly right here in nature. I'm living my life to the fullest every single day. Every single day here in the silence of nature as you all can see. So today I want to speak about the silence of nature and what is the importance of it. So first of all, I want to tell you all is that nature is actually God creation because as you all can see this building right here, it's going to make sense for you. As you all see this building right here. So if you're living, if you're disconnected from nature and living in a city, you're totally disconnected from God made creation because the God made creation is actually the nature itself. Why? Because you don't have to fix the nature to make it beautiful because the nature is perfect exactly the way it is. But this building right here, the structures, we always have to decorate it, make it beautiful, color it, you know, always to make it look beautiful because it's artificial, is not God made, it's man made. You understand me? So what is God made is actually the nature itself. That's, that's why we say the nature is actually the true kingdom of God, the true kingdom of oneself. So now that the importance of the 432 hearts is actually 432 hearts is the highest vibrational uh, sound of earth and 432 hertz can be heard in the silence of nature all the silence that we can hear the birds the butterflies singing the wind so all these are 432 hertz sound so when we start to live naturally into this sound our subconscious mind get healed our mind get purified so now we can hear the higher voice that is within in the silence of nature so now if you all understand this that's why when we look into the ascended masters Ascended masters, so all the ascended masters, especially Buddha, he used to live in the jungle. He used to meditate all the time. Why? Because the nature is, is peace and bliss. Where you are here to reconnect back, even in um, Sanskrit, like the in the scriptures, you know, all the Babas and Gurus in India, those are the people that know the Brahmacharyas, they call the Brahmacharyas, one of the chariots, what they do, they decide to go leave everything that is uh, unnatural and artificial and reconnect back to nature means leave everything and live in the jungle, live in the jungle and just meditate and develop themselves to, into higher dimensions because only through nature we can be ascendant because when we are living life in artificial city where there is nothing is really god made everything is artificial the lights the water that you are drinking the air that you are breathing is full of poison the people that you're hang on, hanging around with they are also full of poison thoughts you know and nobody's eating from nature so we are living actually in hell when we are surrounded by it because heaven and hell it's all we Within. and everything that's been projecting out so-called the you know so-called the world is actually the inner verse we are seeing through our mind with these two eyes we think oh everything is outside of us but it's not is not how do you know everything exists without your observation for me nothing really exists without my observation when i look into something it becomes shape and form because my mind created and quantum physics talks about it so now i'm living my life here in 432 hearts because i choose to live it, my life in 432 hearts because i know the importance of it I've, only by living in nature we can activate the dmt consciousness at the same time only by breathing the purest prana the vital energy of earth the vital energy of god means the purest oxygen because oxygen is not only the air that we are breathing is actually more higher than the oxygen so now i i i breathe in god this is what i my thoughts are like so now 
as I am living in the silence of nature, this is how I am healing myself. At the same time, when I go to sleep in the silence of nature, how does my subconscious mind get programmed? By when I go to sleep, when I go to sleep, at that time, the subconscious mind gets reprogrammed. So that's the time you better allow yourself to live in the silence of nature where you can hear the noises, the silence noises, the noise of nature. And this is how you will start to vibrate way much more higher. You will be much more healthier, happier and you will ascend more higher in your spiritual growth and at the same time just by living in the purest form of nature which is the kingdom of, kingdom of God we can liberate ourselves from all the human pain and suffering because we are multi-dimensional being having human experiences we are not our human body because the bodies are passing by we are not our body we are beyond our body and how can you experience this ultimate truth well by reconnecting back to nature eating from the trees staying grounded to the earth we, we are always taking 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 from nature nature is providing us the oxygen nature is providing us the water all the fruits and vegetable the light it self that's why when we start to honor the nature when we start to reconnect back to our true home which is the kingdom of god is nature it's god made its purest form of energy here in earth so when we reconnect back to it we become one with the supreme source and when we start to respect and honor god creation now same thing will happen towards us the trees the birds everything around us going to honor us in same way otherwise when you are living into something that is man-made that is man-made artificial you disconnect yourself from the soul you forget who you are you start to suffer you get lost in illusion you get lost in maya you get lost in babylon so you start to suffer mentally physically spiritually there is no alignment in your life there is no balance at all you don't know how to deal with your life so that's why nature is the only way Nature is the only way, nature is the only medicine is here for the mind, body and the spirit, the soul itself. That's why I always say, reconnect back to nature, start to honor God creation, start to hug the tree, start to be barefoot, start to be connected to the ground, the mother earth and give thanks to life and start to meditate, start to eat from the trees and no killing, no murdering, no blood at all all and your life will change forever for infinite lifetimes because this is the only shift that we are here to do when we ascend higher and higher and higher and higher this is how we are we can be liberated from human life this school the earth room is actually a school we are here to play our karmic rules here so we can be liberated when we reach from the root to the crown chakra and all the knowledge that i am giving you all this is this is the parts of everything once you understand the whole concept and collect it all and put it everything in action your life going to be changed i promise you this so now today i just wanted to share with you all this bliss where i am living right now because this is my yard this is where i am living this is the peace and bliss here here we can grow our own foods my father used to grow own foods here right now my father he transformed and right now i am here in my birthplace this is my home this is a look how natural it is this is the pool with rain water the house is right there i have a huge garden here right now not so much fruits because it's seasonal so this is where i am living right now right so this is my life i born here since i've been kid i've been living here the natural lifestyle we are cooking foods with woods we are connected always connected barefoot to the ground getting water from the deep from look deep from the ground you see it's spring water right here so everything 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 is natural living here so i am not disconnected from god creation i'm one with god and i'm one with god creation and that's why i'm honoring and respecting it and i am blessed every single day of my life every single day because because you have to vibrate on the purest heart 
frequency and how can you vibrate high is by living in the green green is nature because this is what I gonna activates your heart this is gonna give you all the DMT consciousness so now now why did you ever ask why the heart chakra is green because we are living in our heart we are living in our heart chakra green but most of us right now running after money this and that right so most of us right now in the world they are actually disconnected from their heart chakra because you are all living life in an artificial city where nothing is really god made everybody's suffering everybody's heart is so close because you are not living in your heart heart chakra the heart chakra is green the heart chakra is nature and we are in tune with our heart chakra i am living in my heart chakra that's why i am vibrating and my heart is open and i am pure heart because we all are pure heart but what's covered up when we disconnect ourselves from our heart chakra and this is the heart chakra that we are here to live look all the green so when we look into the green when we live into the green when we eat from the green as we are breathing the fresh prana from the green and this is how we can activate our heart chakra again we are here to activate our heart chakra because this is love chakra this is the center of everything the highs and lows this is the balance right here the root the heart the crown right here you got me so that's why we can back to this 432 hertz frequency 432 hertz vibration because we are here to be in tune and we are here to be happy exactly so see y'all soon again namaste peace and bliss please share this video